In this video, we're going to take a look at how to utilize Excel to work with the Poisson distribution. And you might remember the Poisson distribution is the one to where we have lambda um, for the mean and standard deviation as a square root of lambda. And we have this kind of weird formula. The probability of x successes is lambda to the x e to the minus lambda divided by x factorial. And let's say for some reason that we had lambda was equal to, uh, let's just say 20 for some reason. And let's say we want to know what's the probability of exactly, let's say 16 successes, All right? Now let's do it by hand and then I'll illustrate how to utilize Excel to figure it out. And then we could extend it to less than greater than in between problems. So we would say that P of 16 is equal to 20 to the 16th, E to the minus 20th divided by 16 factorial. And then in our calculator, we would type that in. So we would do 20 to the 16th. And then we would say times E to the minus 20th. And we would have to divide that by 16 factorial. So 16 math. Then we go to prob and then we go down to four and then we hit enter. All right, so we get 0 0.06456. All right, so 06451, easy to remember. Now let's see how to do that in Excel. All right, so in Excel, here's what you're going to do. You're going to type equal Poisson and you're going to type in X and I'm going to type, I'm going to show you what the um, syntax is in a moment or the parameters. So X is 16 for us. The mean is going to be 20. And because we want exactly, we're going to type in false, right? So again, anytime you just want exactly, you type in false. Where we got 0 0.06456, we get 46056-1067. And right here we have 10669, so 67. So truly, we either got really, really lucky or this works. And of course it does work, all right? So this is the probability of exactly 16 successes. All right. And so what is the syntax in Excel? Well, we're going to type in equal Poisson. And the first thing it's going to ask you for is X. Okay, so that's the number of successes. Then we're going to type in the total number of successes or the sample size, or I'm sorry, we're going to type in lambda, not N. Excuse me. All right, so we're going to type in lambda, which is the mean. And then finally, we either want true or false. Okay, and remember, false, just like for the binomial distribution, false is only used for exact. All right, so now you might want to say, okay, well, what's the probability of getting 15 or less successes? Okay, so probability that X is less than 15. All right, and what do we have to do? Well, by hand, oh boy, this would be tough, wouldn't it? All right, so that's what we would have to do by hand, okay? We certainly don't wanna do that, right? In Excel, we could do it very easily. So let's just type in equal Poisson, and we would say, X, which is 15, the mean is 20, and then cumulative this time is true, all right? And that's gonna tell us the probability of less than 15 successes. All right. We could do the same thing with more than, all right? So let's say for some reason, um, this time we want more than, Let's say 22 successes. All right. Well, if we want that, we're just going to type in one minus, just like any other more than. So equals one minus Poisson of 22, comma 20, comma true. Right. And of course, we're going to state what that is. That's the probability of more than 22 successes. And then let's say we want between, All right? So let's say for some reason I want for letter D, let's say between, uh, let's say, I don't know, 
18 and 25 successes. All right, and to figure that out, what we're going to do is we're going to do high minus low. Okay, so that's going to be equal to Poisson of, we said 25 was the highest, 20 is the mean, and we want true minus Poisson of 18 comma 20 comma true again. Right? And this is our probability of between 18 and 25 successes. All right, so really cool that we have this Poisson distribution function in Excel. All right, and then by the way, here is the um, syntax that I used. So you kind of have it in one snapshot if you want to look at it all. Again, I hit control and then the button next to one. All right, to be able to illustrate how to do that. All right. So in the last video in this series, we're going to be taking a look at the normal distribution. And you might remember the normal distribution was one that we're going to be using so, or a lot throughout the semester. And so this is going to be helpful for you to be able to do it without using the tables. All right. Um, hopefully that'll help you to check your answers when you are using the tables.